Hello, I'm Fabio Lobel, a researcher and statistical de developer for the Hadinsoft company, which developed the XLSTAT software. My co-authors are David Jacarone from the University of Southern Denmark, Sarah Ye Yeager from Plant and Food Research, and El Mustafa Kanai from Onius. I will pro propose in this talk a permutation test to answer the following que question. Are, are there differences in perception with checkers that apply day data? As an introduction, I will remind you that the checkers that apply day, day data is a simple task, more and more popular these last years which consists to ask to the subject to check the attributes that apply to each of the products. So you have a list of attributes and you just have to check the corresponding attributes. So for each subject, we have a data set within rows, the products and columns, the attributes with the one is the subject checked the corresponding attributes and zero if not. All in all, we have one binary data set by subject on the same products and on the same attributes. And the aim is to answer uh, the following question, are there differences in perception two groups of subjects? This question is very often asked. And for example, do men and women per perceive the product in the same way or not? Before present you the test, I have to present you uh, some background analysis. So the similarity between two subjects is defined by the OKI co coefficient, which is based on the number of checks between the two su subjects. The similarity is comprised between zero and one. And more generally, when we have two data sets, the similarity is equal to the, to the cosine between this, this, these two data sets. So the scalar pro product divided by the two Frobenius norm. The catatis method is a tool which aims to build the compromise the, the most close as possible to the subject data sets. So the aim is to mi minimize a so-called distance between the, sub the, the subject da data sets on the, on, the, on the compromise. And the first step is to standardize all the data sets since some subjects tend to check a lot of attributes and some subjects not. Second step is to compute the similarity matrix defined by the OK co coefficient between each of the subject data sets. We can extract the first second vector of the similarity ma matrix in order to build the compromise, which is a weighted sum of the subject data sets. And more a subject is in agreement with the panel, more his weight will be high. And contrarywise, if a subject have, has a different point of view, his weight will, 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 will be low. The last step of the catalyst method is to apply correspondence analysis of the compromise. To build a map, of the products and attributes and see the links 
between them. This, met, this method is, de is derived from the status method, which is a multi-block data analysis me method for quantitative var variables and for different variables from one block to other. The catalyst method is an adaptation of status for the specific case of checkers that apply data. Now I I can I will present to the test. So the first step of the permutation test is to compute the compromise of each of the two groups by the catalyst method. After that, we can compute the similarity observed between the two uh, co uh, compromises. And the question is, is this similarity low or not? By, by keeping a large number of permutations, for example, 1,000, we randomly per, per, permit the subject in the two groups by keeping their size in turn. So we we take some subjects in, in groups A and put them in groups B. We take some subjects in groups B and put them in groups A, okay? We compute the compromises of the two groups by the catalyst me method. And finally, we compute the similarity between the, the two compromises obtained after permutation. And we, we, we can will a pseudo p value which is given by the proportion of the similarity between the two compromises obtained after permutation lower than the observed similarity this test is inspired by miners we which work with lacking data, data, data um, the, with every coefficient on status me method. It's also inspired by ja Jakobovich, which defined a permutation test like this. As an illustration, we consider a Czechoslovakian dat dataset with nine be beverage, 30 attributes, and 603 su subjects. The groups of subjects are based on food neophobia, which is the fear of trying new food. So we are subject with low food neophobia, middle food neophobia, and high food neophobia. When we look at the results of the test between subjects with low food neophobia and middle food neophobia, we can see that the test do not reject the fact that the perception of the products between the two groups of subjects is similar. However, the test be between the subject with low food neophobia and high food neophobia clearly indicate a difference. Another way to, to look at the results of the test is to see the pseudo p, p, p values which indicate the same re, re results and we, we can also see that the middle and the, high, the subjects with me, middle phonophobia and high phonophobia are different the um, catatis graphs which are just the correspondence analysis on the compromise obtained by catatis for each of the two groups. Highlight that the subject with low phonophobia are as, as, as associated to energy drink, the attributes irritating and arrogant. And th th this is not the case for the subjects with high phonophobia. So the test make an alert so make an alert to for for the user okay there is a difference but but the, but the but this graph allow to the user to determine if th this difference is interesting or not as a conclusion we proposed 
a permutation test to determine whether two groups of subjects from Czechoslovak data have a difference in perception or not. This test is based on an idea of Michael Maynus, which has worked with li li liking da data, RV coefficient, and status me method. And we have adapted this test thanks to the catatis method that we have pre previously pro pro proposed. If the test indicates a significant difference, a comparison of the catatis graphs can be done to highlight these differences. As a perspective, it would be interesting to propose same tests for different kinds of data, such as just about right, which is a different task in sensory analysis. And finally, we have added these tools in the close block error pa package and the, on the, this tool we will be av available soon in the Excelstat software. Thanks for your attention.